Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. Welcome back. Right now, we're going to be doing a driving tour of downtown Los Angeles. We're passing Union. We got Gus's fresh, healthy, and delicious. Deli on my left. Passing a motel on my left and another one on my right. It's about to be nighttime, so this is going to be a nighttime tour. Passing Loma. Now, I'm not using the GPS. I'm just driving. I'm trying to follow my sense of direction. We're traveling eastbound. Behind us is westbound. On my right is southbound. On my left is northbound. We got a 7-Eleven on my left-hand side that also sells liquor. Passing Whitmer Street, 330 block of Whitmer Street. Whitmer, W-I-T-M-E-R, Whitmer. We got Belmar Market on my left-hand side. We're now approaching Locust Ave. Well, it's Lucas, Lucas Ave. I see Planet Restaurant and Pizza on my left-hand side. Taxi Sport Bar, Lupita's Corner. Passing Lucas Ave. We got Miguel Contreras Learning Complex on my left. We're approaching Bixel. I'm gonna take this little yellow right here. We got some bigger buildings coming up. I think we're getting closer to the city. A lot larger buildings. Wow, look at that. Look at that tall building right there. I own that in GTA. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Maze Bank building. That's the most expensive building in GTA. Passing Budry. Take beauty, but with a DRY. Wow. Right now, it looks like we're in downtown Los Angeles. What we would call Center City, Philadelphia. Some people call Center City, Philadelphia downtown also. But, yeah, it's downtown. Disney Concert Hall on my left, Music Center in front of us. I'm gonna probably turn coming up on one of these blocks. We're passing Grand. Now we're passing Olive Street. Speed limit is 24 miles an hour. We're on 4th Street, 4th and Olive. This is a four lane street. We got a car on my right, two cars on my left. I see a whole e-scooter crew down there. If my eyes don't deceive me. On my left hand side. Yeah, on my left hand side. A whole bunch of people on e-scooters. Passing Hill. historic downtown I guess that's where we're entering we're passing Broadway that's cool we have a Broadway down here passing the old bank district Spring Street got some graffiti on my left hand side I see Dart I see SM I see Bites, A-C-S-K. We're 
goes to the toy district and the warehouse district. We're passing Spring Street. You look up, you see those like decorative lights. We got Hotel Barclay on my left hand side. I think I looked at reservations at the Hotel Barclay. That actually had an overview of the city. It looked pretty good. You can see a nice view of the skyline. But it also had an overview of, I believe, Skid Row. It was within the same neighborhood, so we might be close. But again, I'm just driving here, guys. I'm not utilizing any type of mapping. I'm doing what I do in Philadelphia, over here. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. We got South Carolina tags right here in front of us. Wow, they came from South Carolina to Kylie. Look at that. At least you know that Volkswagen could make it across country. Passing Main Street. Now we're entering the Toy District. Now we're on Los Angeles. I guess there's a road here called Los Angeles, which is this intersection right here. It's on 4th and Los Angeles. Hi, P. I see uh, Nipsey Hustle never stopped the hustle. It looks like. I want to say it's a mural. It's like a vinyl wrap. Some type of graphic that they put on this building right here on my right. Hong Kong Wholesale Center on my right hand side. Oh, we got Nipsey Hustle on my right. We got Tupac. And we got um, Kobe. That was cool. That was a cool little mural. wall and I'm starting to see some encampments guys oh right here on my left oh right here I think yeah we're in the Skid Row neighborhood look right here on my left hand side I'm trying to make a left I got cars behind me I'm sorry y'all So over here, they got the hookup. Like in Kensington, they ain't got these full blown tents, these little miniature houses. They're not shooting up in the open over here from what I see. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I know for certain because I'm not here every day. Maybe they just hooked that little area up. I'm, I'm gonna go around the block. We passing Third Street. I'm gonna go around the block to get a better look. But for what I saw there, I saw some clothes. They use tarps, little, like, I wouldn't even call them um, tents because they're homemade. But I guess, you know, you you can call a homemade tent a tent, right? But I'm making this left on 2nd Street. Ah, uh, we got a 2nd Street in Philly. San Pedro on 2nd Street. Yeah, no, nah, y'all. What I saw there was not like what I see in Kensington. In Kensington, they point the needles, they point the little cup, they point whatever they're gonna shoot up and they do their mixing right facing traffic. They use like objects, cars, or, or the street barriers. They put the stuff there, they shoot it. They just dip in traffic. There, if they do what they do behind those blue tents, nobody knows what they're doing. Obviously, you guys know they're doing something, but they're not doing it like right in the open, but let me not speak too soon. Let me let me draw around. This is my first visit here. Let me like see what I see and, and get an example of, of what it you know could potentially be like. There's a whole group of people outside on my right. I think Third Street. Look at, for example, right here. It looked like there's a couple encampment things right here. And there was a whole bunch of cops on my left. Police. 
I didn't even notice. On my right hand side, you can see all these blue tents. Yeah, it looks a little bit more privatized a bit. I'm surprised the city hasn't removed all of those, those homemade, pretty much little mini sheds, little mini homes. I'm surprised they're doing it right here and they're not going to that reservoir, that popular reservoir. I mean, I guess the reservoir fills up with water, right? On a bad rainy day. So you don't want to build your little, there's tents on my right too. Yeah, 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 they're scattered. There's some right here, but I'm, I was looking up the, the block. Look at, those are all tents on my right hand side. Those are all tents. Bunch of trash too. I'm gonna make this left right here. We're on Los Angeles Street. To the left on Boyd. Turn on my left hand side. We got tents. Yeah, they're doing this right here in the business district. Yeah, people were talking about uh, that there'd be feces on the ground here and whoa, that cop was out. Cop wasn't playing. No game. DJ, no game. Hey, she she waved at me, so I waved at her back. Hey, oh, did she think that I needed to needed like a pickup? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm cool. I thought she was being friendly. <laughs> I just waved at her. Hey. Yo, there's monks walking by with coolers. They're probably giving out water and stuff. Wow, that's decent. That's decent, giving out water. It's something, man. It's the thought that counts. It's, it's not much. But, you know, when you're thirsty, you're thirsty. Look right here on my right-hand side. Those are all tents. These right here are the big ones that I was talking about. Like, they went in. Look at this. Look at this. They went in. They got skits, wooden skits. They got street signs. They got plastic. They got so many different objects that, that makes the little house that they live in. We're passing 4th and San Pedro. Wow, this is right around the corner from the heart of the city. I'm surprised they let this get that, that bad. Passing Winston Street. It, it, it's a one way. I was about to make a left hand turn. So, there's tents on my right. There's a whole bunch of people on my left, too. Oh, this whole wow. Blocks, blocks, y'all. On my left and on my right. Blocks. Yo, y'all can't even see. The camera doesn't do justice. Maybe you could, maybe you can't. On my right. Yo, look at these tents. Yo, that's a 10 by 10 tent. My guys, they created a whole little crib. Yo, these 10 by 10s on my left. Yo, that's wild. I, th I thought I saw it all when I saw the little homemade blue thing with like wood and this and that and the third. That's crazy. They play music out here? Let me listen. Yo, they got music on. They're having their own little block party and everything, yo. But on both sides, there's dozens of people. Dozens of people. But then again, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't see nobody dipping doing the zombie lean. Or uh, the Fetty Wap, or whatever you want to call it. Let's make this left on 6th Street. They might be, like, high, but they got a, they doing a good job of covering it up. I don't know. I'm not trying to make no prejudged assumptions here, but Kensington might be smaller, but what's happening in Kensington right now, I think it's a lot. We're, the people in Kensington not this smart to build these 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 giant encampments. Whoa, that one block right there was popping. We going around the This spans. Wow, you look at my left. Yo, this spans through several 
blocks in this neighborhood. Yo, look at all over. Look at my corner. Look at my right. Tents, 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 tents. This spans through a good bit. Yo, look at that, y'all. Let me slow down. I wasn't going that fast. I was going 15. I just slowed it down to like 10. Yo, look at tents. The thing is, these are full-blown tents. These are no longer homemade tents. These are like, that one's like a real tent. But they're like canopies. Like like those ones you use for like a for like a party in the yard and everything. And then they take the tarps. Where do they get them? Are they that wise? Yo, I'm telling you, they are wise over here. I mean, they might have a little problem. They might have a substance abuse, an alcoholic problem. They might have, I don't know. Do, do they still use crack out here in 2021? dope i mean i haven't seen nobody leaning that's all i'm saying when i go to philly every other block within the 10 block radius of from from front and somerset well now it's like front of lehigh to like uh i'm not not front of lehigh kensington well, look on my left and look on my right kensington and lehigh past somerset all the way up to like kensington and what is the name of that street like I would say Allegheny, but then I would say probably up to like Westmoreland, almost Tioga. Because I've been even seeing prostitutes come out after Tioga under the little um, L little thing. So, yeah. Guys, this is no joke. Over here, I mean, but then again, inside those tents, what we don't see, they might be dipping. You feel me? But at, at least they, they, they hide in it, yo. The people in Kansas, they're not hiding it, y'all. They brazen. It's like 10 people in a row shooting up in their legs and their neck and their buttocks and their forehead. And and, and, and every, you know, I'm like, what? Like, y'all ain't got no shame in your game. Look at all those tents on my right. This is crazy. I'm about to turn on my high beams. Yeah, I'm going to turn on my high beams just so y'all can see a little bit more. Wow, all those. This might genuinely be homeless people, y'all. I, I would say a high percentage of this might be people who can't afford to live in Cali. I don't know. I'm not from here, so I can't say that I know or that I don't know, but I'm just taking a wild guess. I'm assuming it ain't cheap to live here. Holy smokes. Let's make this, this right over here. It was a female with a shopping cart. A female, guys, with a shopping cart. Crab house seafood coming. Look at this whole little tent on my left. Yo, that's that's like a 10 by, by 40. Look at all these tents on my right. This is vicious, bro. This is vicious. Vicious, bro. It's sad. It's sad. What makes it more sad is that it's right next to the city. It's not like Kensington. Kensington is like 15... BS. Kensington is like 20 minutes from the heart of the city. This is the equivalent of a homeless encampment being four or five blocks away from City Hall. Damn it, there's more on my left, and there's more in front of me, and there's more on my right. I'm gonna go straight, we're on 7th Street. I'm gonna go straight, we're on 7th and Stanford. And then we're gonna go straight, and then we'll make a left, left, and then come down. What's this? 7th Street, right? Yeah. This is the equivalent of a homeless encampment being a few blocks away from Center City, Philadelphia. And you know what would happen if a homeless encampment was a few blocks away from Center City, Philadelphia? They would shut it down. They would remove everything. They would throw everything away. They would not let it get this bad. They won't. What happened over here? Look at this on my left. Look at this on my right. And these are big boys. These ain't no little teeny weeny Q-tents. In Philly, they got little teeny Q-tents. They had little teeny Q-tents. They had like three of them right by the highway near like the historic district. You know what they did? One day I was walking by, I saw them. 
They were picking them all up and throwing them away. The dude was running up to get his tent. They were throwing his stuff away. And it was a little teeny weeny cute tent. Like the children tent. These are like freaking festival tents. Stanford Ave. This is heart wrenching, bro. Look on my right, there's more. Yo, this is really a whole neighborhood, G. Look on my left, look on my right. The magnitude of this is so much bigger. The magnitude is so much bigger than what we got in Kensington as far as the people living outdoors. I can't say what substances they're using because I, 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 they don't show signs of it, you know? In Philly, you definitely see them leaning everywhere. Uh, let's make this left. Let's make this left. Oh, I think I just ate a red light. My bad. <laughs> but this is wild. Let me go down another block. Because every time I think that I've seen the end of it, there's another block with several more tents, 10 more tents. This makes me want to jump out and do a walk of the neighborhood at nighttime. I'm about to make this left right here. We just turn left on Sears Ave. To think that this is minutes away from Hollywood, bro? Bro, Hollywood! Where millionaires live! In one of the most sought-after states in America. Where the rich and famous thrive. They look like Bobby Schmurder walking by. <laughs> No disrespect to him, but the dude kind of looked a little bit like him. But um, yeah, you know what I mean. But then again, we in we in Hollywood, so <laughs> who knows? Say say no, nah, say no, nah, say no. Nah. But um, yeah, you know what I mean. That's disrespectful, bro. I can understand if if like Philly Philly don't have a booming economy like how. How, well, I don't know. I can't speak on the economy because I'm not here. It looked like a lot of the stores was open. I drove by plenty of stores today and many of them was open. Many of them was open. But people don't come to Philly to get rich and famous. People come to LA to get rich and famous. They come to LA for the deals. They come to LA to become movie stars, for the casting calls, to 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 go to the studio, to go to the booth, to to you know what I mean? To shoot the movies, to how many movies have been shot here in Los Angeles? And these streets look like this. Look at that. That's that's an encampment right in front of me. As we're talking, these are all encampments. We got human beings living out here like, like no one cares for them. And they're humans, yo. I know to the powerful, they don't, they don't, they don't care. They don't care about me either. They don't care. This is disturbing. I've only seen it in videos, you know, so it's a different thing to see in real life. This is kind of disturbing. We're on town. Seventh in town. Now, I don't know if this is people who maybe quit work, got fired, maybe just you know, got tired of, of, of being in the nine to five environment and decided to, you know, live on the street. If that's the case, then, you know, maybe that's a choice that they decided to, 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 to follow. But if these are people who need genuine help, you know, maybe people with mental issues, maybe people with disabilities, maybe people with substance abuse problems, which can turn out to be a disease. Substance abuse is no joke. 
especially when you're on the hard um, substances. Look at them, all right? It's, it's like, it's wild. Fashion district. We're right next to, like, the heart of the city. Got me speechless. We're at Seventh and San Pedro Fashion District. On my left, a dozen or so tents. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm that's that's like an ironic giggle. On my left, I don't know if you guys can see because you know. <sighs> On my right, more tents. be hard in the winter I know it must be hard in the winter I slept in two three degree weather I know it must be hard in the winter and then when the temperatures drop well then again this is Cali so the winter for here for them might not even be as bad as it is in, in Philly here it might be like what 40 50 in the winter what do y'all get in the winter it probably I'm over here over exaggerating it probably be like 50 degree winters <laughs> and 50 degrees to us in the winter is, 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 is life it's love. It's like, yeah, I wish I had a 50 degree in the winter. I'm gonna make this right on maple. It looks like it's starting to slow down around here. But, yeah, right. There's more tinsel over here. But, I know in the winter in Philly, we, we, we be in the negatives. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Dude was... Sweeping up something from the ground. I'm at. I'm amazed by how coordinated they were with these little um, encampments. I'm amazed by that factor. How they're so organized. You know what I mean? And there's a police station on my right hand side. What? I'm gonna make this this right. Let me see if I can make it right. There's more tents on my left. There's a police station right here. Yo, they got the tents right next to the police station. Is this police station out of business or, or out of service or closed down? All these tents, again, on my left and on my right. Guys, there has to be 100, maybe 200 tents. Has to be. That's probably like a rough estimate. And this is way larger than Kensington. The only thing that I like is that if they are using substance abuse, they hide it behind a tent. If, you know what I mean? I guess I'll find out in the daytime if it looks any different, if they're out there dipping and... But in Philly, they be with the needle stuck in their neck. They be like, they be like tripping. They be wilding out. Let's make this left on San Pedro. Yeah, they be super duper stuck. Blood, like dry scab blood everywhere. Blood on the cheeks, blood on their hands, blood on the everywhere. A, a, a needle in their mouth and they're just standing at the corner. Say, yo, bro, hide that, bro. Like, put, put, put it away. Back in the day, that was, you know, when somebody utilized a substance, you keep it to yourself. It wasn't something you do out in the open. Even when I utilized Mary Jane, that was the only substance that I could ever be accused of falling for in my lifetime. I never smoked cigarettes. I wasn't much of an alcoholic. I didn't really like alcohol. I drank like during the occasion, like, you know, like a holiday, family occasion, new, like New Year's. I wasn't a big drinker. I hated it. I, I don't drink anymore. Um, but when I did utilize Mary Jane, I was very private with her. I didn't just go out and, and show everybody, the neighbors that I got stoned. I didn't show people from work. I got stoned. I didn't, I, I, I was like low key with it. Like it was for me and for my media circle to know that, you know what I mean? That I, that I blew a little bit. That's it. You know what I mean? But 
but this is mind blowing. left on third street I'm trying to figure out a nice place where I can park and just walk this and we'll park where they're not going to break into this vehicle because <laughs> I don't feel like carrying my gigantic bag with me no siree so I'm thinking of just walking in Los Angeles y'all too about to walk Los Angeles at night time <laughs> thinking about doing a 360 I, th I think that might be something um, worth documenting in 360 you can look all around me while I'm walking guys are new to the channel i have 360 virtual tours 360 vr tours they're interactive meaning if you're watching on a mobile device you can move your phone anywhere up down left right all around me and you'll see what's around me or you can swipe it with your finger if you're watching from a television set or a council like playstation or something you can use the d-pad the directional pad on your remote and still look around me I don't do those every day, but I like to, you know, throw those in every now and then because there's certain things that's that's worth documenting like that. Wow, that looks like a nice spot to park right here on my right hand side. Let me, let me try to park here. It looks bright. There's no encampment right here. It looks like it's still next to the city. The action camera, I think I could get like a good 40 something minutes on, I mean, I can go longer, but I gotta be careful because 364 K files are extremely large and it's gonna take forever to convert, to upload, export, all that stuff. So you gotta be very careful. But I'm thinking about parking right here. Let me take a look at the environment. I'm gonna take a look at the environment, guys. Give me a second. Let me get out. I'm gonna make sure there are no um, no parking signs. Let me see. guys i think i'm about to go in i'm about to go in um for those of you guys who don't know what that terminology means it doesn't mean i'm gonna go inside of a house and call it a day it means i'm about to go in <laughs> i'm about to throw on the 360 cam i'm about to take a walk through skid row we're about to do it at nighttime i'm about to do it right now i'm about to leave this vehicle right here we're gonna cut this tour short because i'm intrigued by what i saw and while I'm here, you only live once, YOLO. So I'm about to go capture that. If you live once the right way, once is more than enough. So let's hope that <laughs> I make it back to the vehicle. Say, no, nah, that's that's a bad joke, of course. But I ain't really worried. I'm going to just go take a walk through. And yeah, turn on your notification bell so you can see what comes out of this little walk I'm about to document. Uh, share this video if you could. Comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any knowledge. Just let me know your thoughts on, you know, the compare and contrast. You could check out my Kensington video. And there's dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people documenting Kensington on the daily, capitalizing off of what's happening there. But, you know, I just did one good, heavy, hard hitter Kensington video at the end of last year. And I'm about to drop a heavy hitter right now of 
Skid Row while I'm here. You know what I mean? So, show love. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell because I got a giveaway coming at 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to give away a free e-scooter, brand new in the box. When 2215 reaches 50,000 subs and the second YouTube channel, Tune B Chillin, T O O N B E C H I L L I N, reaches 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away the e scooter to one lucky winner out there. So, yeah, it's your homeboy Tune, Tune Dollars, Tune 215, Tune B Chillin. Tune about to go to Skiro and walk through it at night. We're about to get our 360 on, and I'm tuning out. <laughs>